In today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure RIP protocol on Mikrotik router. So in previous video, let me give you the summary of what I did in my previous video. That was for static routing on Mikrotik router. So we had two routers and two different networks. So I added static route, uh, which I'm going to remove because currently I'm able to ping the other side IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. Okay, so I can ping this one. As I remove this route, what I created for uh, static routing, so I'm going to remove this one. And now you should see I'm not able to ping the other network, okay? And the same thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the static route, which is this, this one, excuse me. Uh, 172.160.0 and I'm going to remove this one. So quickly let's jump to the routing protocols and configure RIP protocol. Meanwhile if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe because I'm posting videos every day related to networks you're gonna learn a lot of stuff okay. So we are going to go to routing and then the RIP. So that's one of the routing protocol. There is two kind of uh, routings. One is static, static and uh, another one is dynamic. So we will be configuring RIP in this video, but I will configure OSPF, OSPF version 3, and then uh, later on uh, maybe BGP and other protocols as well. Okay, so let's start setting up the RIP protocol. First of all, we are going to create the RIP interface okay on the both side and then what I told you in my previous video for static routing what you do you tell the static route about the other networks like if you are you want to go to the network 172.161.1 you should use that address but in the protocols what we do we advertise our network like my network is 192.168.1.1 and my network is 192.168.12.1 or whatever the network is we advertise our network and on the other side uh, advertise their network so that way they connect to each other okay so first i'm going to see the rip settings so it's uh, asking for the distribute default it's already set to never and the update time and everything so it's going to be updated every 30 seconds if there is a new route it will be added into this one okay so uh let me create first this one so there is rip version 1 and version 2 but honestly speaking i uh, completed my CCNA course in 2013 they just taught us RIP version 2 I don't know why they didn't uh, taught RIP version 1 and literally I never give a try to learn about RIP version 1 so I'm going to say uh, both versions for this one and uh, you can set authentication as well like if any other unknown routers want to jump in but you don't want to share your routes you can set authentication so that way you will be able to uh, like set communication with with specific routers what you know about okay so you can uh, set a keychain but for this one I'm, I'm i'm just going to test the real protocol so i'm just doing none apply and then okay so there is authentication none but if there is one uh, there will be authentication key okay and the same thing i'm going to do on the other side it's going to be routing and then rip and then interfaces rip apply and then okay okay so the next thing what i told you that we are going to advertise the same connected networks ip addresses so first I'm going to go to uh, Mikrotik router 2 and going to the networks on the plus sign. So I'm going to share my networks. So first go to the addresses and verify if I'm sharing the correct IP addresses. So the network address of first one is 192.168.1.0, right? Slash 24 that's the network address 1.1 .1 is the IP address not the network address apply and then okay so first address is here and then 
the second address which is 192.168.12.0 slash 24 apply and then OK and the same thing on the other side networks and see the IP addresses so here we have 172.16.0.0 slash 16 you have to make sure you're typing everything correctly otherwise it's not going to show the routes under the your route section okay apply and then okay and the next ip address uh, which is the same one the van ip address which is 192.168.12.0 slash 24 apply and then okay okay so now I'm going to go to IP routes just to see if I can see I'm reachable to the other network or not so over here the LAN address is 172.160.1 okay but I am accessible so you can see a small R that means RIP you can see uh, I dra uh, sorry I hovered mouse over there so it's, it's saying D as in dynamic A as in active R as in RIP so it's active it's dynamic and it's from RIP so let's go and ping 192.168.1.1 okay so now I can ping the other side and let's go to router 2 and ping from here ping 172.161.1 sorry it's 0 0.1 I can ping this one ping 192.168.1.1 I can ping both interfaces just for your verification I was uh, trying pinging both interfaces because sometimes uh, when you're making videos you get stuck in two sides like you have to see at the camera as well you have to see on the screen as well and uh, you get distracted that's why I always test both like the local interface or the interface which is coming from the routing protocol so on Cisco I taught you how to configure RIP protocol and that's a little bit uh, confusing but on Microtech I really appreciate the way they configure their Winbox like if you have a little bit of understanding how to configure routing protocols you can configure easily and that's the best part of Microtech thank you so much for watching the video I'll see you in the next video